How are we doing today, Ash Nation? This is King Mo, the Ash Man. Today we are smoking another cigar. We're going to be talking about cigar reviews, whatever I think of it. Today we are smoking Prodomo 20th Anniversary Maduro Toro 6x56. Prodomo 20th anniversary. Uh, this is a Maduro wrapper and it's a Toro style and it's a 6 inches long by 56 ring. This is up what I like him to be in the bigger ring gauge. I mean 56 is not bad size. This is have a firm hard feeling to the touch. It uh, have a nice, the rubber have like a cocoa smell to it, like chocolatey cocoa. Uh, the cigar band look fancy. I love the way how all these details, all these coloring, everything else. This is what I expect from Prodomo. They are known for their fancy cigar bands. Uh, it feels good in the hand. Excellent in the mouth too. It's not too big or it's not too small. It's just right. Uh, the construction of the cigar look Fabulous, the rubber look well made, the cigar look excellent, everything will, will look like I don't see no flaws in it, I don't see nothing, it look like it have uh, one, two, look like a double cap, uh, we're gonna decide this, you know, let me see what else, uh, the cigar have a cocos scent to it, and you know, wrapper, and you know, as you guys, this is a Maduro wrapper, and it, it's on a darker side, Maduro. As I told you guys, the cigar feel firm on the hard side, uh, feel good in the hand excellent in the mouth the way I like these gauges bigger rings I mean 70s 56 I mean you know it's up there close enough to 60 but you know uh, cigar appears good I mean got an excellent appearance I'll let's take it man look I got an excellent appearance I mean beside that we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut it, smoke it, and today we are, I first thing I never, this is the first time I've been smoking the Prodomo 20th anniversary, I don't think I ever smoked it before, I just can't recall, but I did say it have a cocoa smell to the, to the wrapper. I'm doing uh, like a dry, uh, cold, dry taste. I don't smell anything, but this is not infused in any way. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do a V cut with my Calibri. But we're gonna go ahead and V cut it. Uh, let me see, I'd like to go on a sideway cut. So you go here. And we're gonna, Let's do a, a deep V cut. Uh, uh, the cold draw, yeah, it's, it's open. I'm still getting the same you know I don't getting any, I don't get any hints of any flavor or 
notes of the cold draw. So we're just gonna go ahead without any delay, light it up and smoke it and see what we are gonna be getting. This so let's see if this light are gonna work with me today. I just I thought I had it fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and use my lighter like to light it up keep the cigar on an angle keep the flame far let just the heat do the work try to go around the edge you know do the the edge of the the, the foot of the cigar and slowly work your way all the way in I need a little bit more. Look like it had enough. Still have a small dark spot, but we're gonna go ahead and light it, do it one more time. Like, well, we're gonna go ahead and see. All right, guys, all right, the cigar draw. lovely draw to it it's open I love what I see so far I love the uh, the smoke output I mean this is the Prodomo 20th anniversary the Maduro uh, it's a Maduro total 6x56 this is Nicaraguan wrapper the wrapper is Nicaraguan Habano Maduro it's on a dark dark coloring uh, the, the, the binder and the filler all Nicaraguan but this is Nicaraguan all the way around well so far guys we lit it up I don't see look at the even burn line I mean it's still in the early stage but even in the early stage look at the how perfect this burn line I mean I still don't get any hints of any taste I'm in a minute I'm about to try to figure out if I get any taste to it but this come in a different styles different shape I think it do come in a Churchill it do come in a Corona Gordo Robusto and I believe Torbido and uh, the total we're smoking over here the, the range from the uh, sizes from the 556 almost to the 756 you know and you know up there and there This is range between 950 and 1050 a stick, depend where you get it, the quantity, the more you buy, the bigger quantity as always the price drop down, the single cigar will be up in the 1050s, depend which you buy it from which retailer or online and all that stuff. I, I always get one here and there, I always get like different stuff to sample. I got my own cigar what I like to smoke all the time plus I like to get here different cigars to smoke just to experiment with different stuff and see if you could find something else will grab your taste buds grab your wow you and you might be hooked in a new cigars and all that stuff
All right, guys. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, I smelled a, a cocoa smell to the wrappers. Now I'm getting at even that taste of cocoa. I'm getting a taste of coffee, like a dark espresso coffee, and I'm getting sweet peppery. You know, you know, like sweet pepper dill, whatever. I'm not good with fruit and vegetable and all that stuff, but I get a sweet peppery to it. And I'm plus I'm getting the taste of earthness, you know, like an earthy taste, like all mixed together, you know, between cocoa, uh, espresso, dark espresso coffee, even a sweet pepper. I don't think I ever smoked a cigar with sweet pepper to it before, and an earthness. But it's all four, four or five flavor, you know, plus the aroma. It's not of too much of a uh, peppery at all, guys. I mean, it's just perfect combination. I mean, the cocoa is not too, you know, cocoa is not too bittery taste. The espresso coffee, it's, it's nothing taking over the other flavor. I mean, it just, it's like blended together in a way where every, Puff you take and you get just enough mixing to make you whoa. I mean, so far, guys, I love the way how this cigar is burning. I love the. I wish if you guys could smell the aroma. My buddy Mac here is smelling it, and he is just enjoying it, looking at me. But this with his eye and his mouth wide open, his tongue sticking out. Yeah, whatever, buddy. I wish you, you know, you're gonna teach me how to smoke one of these days, you know. Sorry, Max, secondhand smoke. But, you know, I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm gonna stop the video for a minute, uh, smoke a bit more, and come back and talk more about it. Alright, guys, this is Timo the Ash Man. We are smoking Brodomo, Brodomo 20th anniversary, uh, Maduro, rap, Maduro wrappers with the Toro 6x56. This cigar, it's awesome guys. Look at the burn line, it's burning evenly, the ash, get a lot, little bit, uh, the dark is on, the ash on like charcoaly silver with black streaks to it i mean the aroma guys is just fabulous the, and i can't say highly about the taste the notes of the smoke it just well balanced is mixed blended so far i'm enjoying what i'm smoking i'm enjoying what i'm tasting the cocoa to the espresso coffee to the sweet peppers and even the earthness to it it's just perfect balance perfect perfect mixing i'm even drinking it with my death wish coffee uh this is one of my mugs okay like you guys could read it my favorite child give me this mug I'm not mentioning which favorite child I have, I only get two kids, but they are both my favorite, but one of them give me that mug for, I guess they try to prime me like they're my favorites, you know, but they're both my favorites. I like them both the same, I like them both different. Again, I'm drinking this, today I got, I smoking, drinking my Deswick. Uh, straight espresso uh, but we're gonna go ahead and see if the flavor gonna taste if it gonna get a different hints when I think was doing it with this coffee oh 
I'm still getting the same guys. Perfect. Mixing. Uh, the cocoa, the, the espresso coffee, man. Even the sweet pepper. I'm just can't. I'm loving the, the, the taste and all of the sweet peppers and the earthness. It just balanced together, guys. This perfect profile to me. I mean, I didn't. It's not even, it's not too peppery, you know, it's not like stinging you, it's just sweetness taste to it, but with the pepper taste, it's just bold, the flavor is very bold, I mean, I love this bold flavor, I love the way how the ash, the ash look is well, well salad, well made ash, the coloring is just pure silver with charcoal color, silver with black streaks to it, I mean, the cigar is well, well made. Look at the wrappers, the wrappers intact. Even, you know, it, I don't know. I mean, even get a, this, you could, the texture feeling to the cigars, the cigar feels smooth. The, the paying attention to every detail on this cigar, guys. This cigar is a 20th anniversary and Nick Prodomo did a good job awesome job with this cigars guys this is a slow burning so far this cigar is burning slow burning that we're supposed to be and this is up there in the profile guys this is so far this cigar it profile wise it's full full body cigar as what I get from it right now guys I mean this cigar it just sees to amaze me uh, perfect everything so far perfect everything uh, we're gonna stop smoke a little bit more and come and give you a little bit more final thought and just end it and we'll talk more about it I don't know what else to say guys I mean this cigar is up there this cigar so far guys it's perfect look at the ash we got about two and a half inches of ash solid perfect coloring look like well made stick tight together you know the wrapper is perfect you know perfect draw the draw is perfect taste uh, the note of this cigar guys it's bold and perfect mixing from start to now i mean i don't see it changing at all i'm almost in the first almost finishing with the first quarter of the thing we're almost getting into the second half second quarter of the cigar second part of the cigar and the flavor is still the same getting strong I mean everything nothing going over the other flavor wise I love this flavor profile guys it's full rich complex and it's constant the flavor is still the same nothing taken over the others I mean guys this is a full bodied cigar it's uh, Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. The the wrapper is also I, I, I love the 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 silky oily feeling to it. The the this the wrapper. The binder is the, the one below the wrapper, and the binder is Nicaraguan. And the bulk of the cigar, the one in the majority in the middle, is all Nicaraguan. For this cigar, it just perfect it's slow burning guys I mean this is a good hour and a half smoke uh, full of enjoyment relaxation whatever you like to drink it with go ahead and feel free I doing it with coffee and some of you guys could do it with alcohol I don't drink alcohol non-alcoholic whatever you guys like to bear it with it's your choice whatever you prefer let's go for it I mean 
I don't know what else to say about it, guys. I mean, this ash, I'm about to flick the ash, but I just want you guys to see the ash one more time. This cigar got a fancy wrappers. I love the way how the cigar band look. The band look fancy. I love it. This wrapper looks very slick, oily, funny. I mean, it just perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to. I mean, it's the ash is good, solid, thick, guys. I love the coloring of this ash. It has the silvery, charcoal, silvery color. I love the aroma, guys. I mean, the smell of this, uh, most of the aroma I'm smelling is like cocoa. I mean, it just perfect aroma to it the taste is constant full rich flavor I mean it's excellent in everything guys I can't find nothing wrong to say about it I'm trying to find something to knock this cigar down I'm trying to find something I don't like about it I'm looking at every detail this cigar running perfect temperature it's not too hot it's not too cold I mean guys this cigar goes between 950 to 1050, even price wise for this stick is perfect. I mean, it's well priced for what you expect from Prodomo. This is the 20th anniversary Maduro Toro style, six by 56. I love the size, it's just perfect. Smoke output is awesome, guys. This is a nice, perfect cigar, guys. I mean, I'm in love with it, and the, the, it's a full body cigar, but still, I would smoke this one again, bet you will. I would buy it again, but as always, it's, I would make this an everyday cigar. It could be an every other day, every two days, every three days, but this is will not be an everyday cigar for me because it's full bodied and I think if, because the way I, I don't smoke one cigar a day, I smoke like one in the morning, sometime in my way to work if I have the time and during work I smoke maybe one or two at work and when I come home I smoke another one, if I smoke about three to five cigars a day, some of them shorty, some of them different lengths, but I don't think I could be, if I'm doing one cigar a day, I wouldn't mind doing this would be an everyday for me. But I don't smoke a cigar once as much time I smoke up to five a day. And I mean I wanna there's nothing wrong with the full body. I mean I love it. It's just perfect. Look at that. Look how perfect. Look at the band. It's nice, sexy, fancy coloring. I mean overall guys, this this is a great tasting. Great taste, Purn is, burning is excellent, even burn lines, I mean, good construction. Very full, robust flavor, guys. I'm in love with the flavor, the taste of this cigar, the aroma. I, the draw of it, the draw is very, smooth you don't have to fight with it because this is a, I even did a V cut uh, I don't have to fight with the draw the, the draw is not loose not too loose not too tight it's just perfect right in there Flowing with the flavor, the taste, the smell of the aroma, guys. Uh, I could honestly say this is one of the finest cigar I ever smoked. I mean, it's up there, guys. It's one of the finest cigar I ever smoked. I'm definitely gonna buy two, three more and put them in my humidor uh, for a special occasion here and there. I mean, I'm. Love it. I 
I mean, this cigar is in, I'll give it a five star, guys. It's a five star cigar from the construction, the wrappers, the aroma, the, the, the rich body, bold taste. I mean, the, the cigar band, the way the silky, oily, rubber feel, look. I mean, nothing, I can't find nothing wrong to say about it. I decide it's full body cigar and nothing wrong, nothing wrong with full body cigar. Size is perfect, 56 ring with the six inches. This is a Toro. I mean, they got a Churchill. I think the Churchill is seven by 56. That's an inch longer. Uh, the way based on this one is that this hour and a half, the Churchill might take you over to the uh, almost just a little bit shy under two hours of enjoyable. If that's what you like, go for it. And I, might, I might do some Churchill next time just to get more time to sit and relax. This is the first time I smoked this Prodomo 20th anniversary. I don't think I ever recall smoking one. I mean, I'm in love with it. I wanna see if we could take this, uh, this cigar band out, but it's still the cigar. No, it might be able to come out. Let's find out. I just don't wanna damage the wrappers that I could find. Hey, if I damage the wrappers, I could find something bad to talk about the cigar. But as of right now, even the wrapper came, the cigar band came perfect. Look guys, look how, look at all the, the way how the wrapper look, look at all the details. You know, I can't even see the seam line where they rolled up the cigar together, where they banded it together. I really can't even see it. Look guys, look at the burn line. It's burning evenly, even burn. I mean guys, and this is a closer look at the cigar band. Redomo 20th anniversary. I mean, this is a fancy, you know, Overall guys, I'm in love with this. This is, I'll be an everyday smoke, no, but I will buy again, I will smoke again. Uh, it's a full body from the rubber binder and fill up on the correct one. The rubber is a Habano Maduro style. It's dark, full flavor. I'm loving it guys. I'm in love. I will. I can't talk higher about the taste, the aroma. For now, guys, this King Mo. Tell me what you think about this. Give it a thumbs up. Go check the website kingmo.com. Until next time, guys. I'm gonna go finish the remaining of this cigar. The remaining, I think, about 20 minutes, half an hour left of what finish watching this movie on Netflix for Rob 10. It's somewhere made in the Middle East in the Gulf area. So far, it's stupid. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even get no story yet. People gone and people trying to like a road rage. It look like, feel like it's a road rage to me and just add on. It's, it's just nothing. It's not appealing to me. But this is not gonna, but you know, the cigar is appealing to me in every way, in every category from the, the aroma, the construction, the rubber style, the, 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 even the full bodied cigar, it, it's just blowing my, me away, it's one of the finest smoke I ever did. So far, the flavor is being constant, it's being true, it's being a rich, moldy, mixed, you know, it just staying the same through the whole smoking experience so far. I mean, can't say anything else about this cigar. I'm gonna let the cigar. Because, because so you know if you guys go pick one up 
and tell me guys what you think. If you guys smoked it before, tell me what you think about the Perdomo 20th anniversary. If you guys like it, let me know. If you guys did not like it, let me know what you like, dislike about it. So far, I can't find nothing to say dislike about besides it's a full body, but hey, there's people out there only do full body. Me, I like the medium, medium full, full body. I do not mind here and there because I smoke, as I told you guys, up to five sometimes a day. But if I'm doing all these five full body cigar, I think I'll be, I don't know. I mean, I enjoy them. I went against them at the beginning, but I'm starting more and more enjoying these full body, medium to full. I love them. But for now, guys, this King Mode Ash man, go take care of yourself, Ash Nation. Keep it lit, Ash on. five stars if I got more I will give it more than five stars but I guess I got my rating for I think more rating from one to five and maybe I'll modify it down the road I don't know but I love the burn I love the way how the edge looks salad coloring everything guys for now this thing more the ash man you take care of yourself guys until next time I'm out